Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back for the one you've been waiting for. Yep, another tournament video and this one we're going to go through. Well, the, the deadline has passed so i I got to place everyone in their respective pool groups now. And I'm going to explain how this works before we get any fit. Before I explain how it works, I'm going to go through all the entr entries and fair dues are quite a lot. So let's crack on with it. So obviously we're going to start with myself and I am using a Pachycephalosaurus, the revival type one, with a move set of 2 before a dive, recovery and laser ray. And as my second dinosaur is, yep, you guessed it, it's a Mega Raptor. I didn't use it in Ultimate's tournament, kind of regret it, although that tournament's still going so I don't know how I'm doing. Uh, Jet Shuriken, Mayfly and Technique Boost, pretty good move sets in my opinion. Okay, and our next entry we have Monolotho G, boasting a Titanosaurus with a moveset of Defense Burst, Liliancura, and Ocean Panic. And their second dino is Super Monolophosaurus, and it's a Waker mode be activated on the second time the icon appears, which is why I have some numbers in brackets and such. Anyway, the moveset of Tie Attack, Sonic Blast, and Tie Break, a very tie based moveset. As tie attack increases the damage in a tie, tie breaker allows Tappy Jarras to deal the tie damage, and Sonic Blast activates in a tie. Interesting moveset. And then we have Toro with a Tujongosaurus and Mapusaurus. Again, you didn't have to use the special dinos. You could use any dino. That's the whole point. That's the whole fun of this tournament. But you know, it's people's choices, and I have nothing against it. Anyway, we have. Quite an attacking moveset in my opinion, with the defensive might of Earth Barrier. And then we have the Quake Saber Mole Attack. And as for the Mapusaurus, again a very attack minded moveset of Fire Cannon, Burning Dash and Flare Sword. Gone for pure power this guy. And we have our fourth entry which is Tor. And they are using an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, which I believe they used in Ultimate's Dino, Ultimate Dino King's Tournament. And it's exact same moveset. Unleashed. I think this could take them far. And then we have the second dino being Stegosaurus, a tie recovery type, with a moveset of Tag Team, Earth Barrier and Struthio Rush. My thinking here is that the Earth support effect, because it's a tag team format, would benefit the Alpha Acro when it wins. But probably would have picked something different to Stegosaurus because it doesn't have great technique. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Our fifth entry, we have Noppy, with the only one using an anime dino, I think. Oh, no, no, never mind. But yeah, Chomp, Super Crisis type, and the first of many Sorophagonaxes. And so anyway, as for Chomp, he has Final Fury, Plasma Anchor, and Thunder Driver. As for the Sorophagonax, Magma Blaster, Archaeopteryx Charm, and a Flare Sword. And we have Melonic shenanigans, a lot of new debutants this time. New victims, new competitors for the tournament. Anyway, we have the Santoros and Sorophagnax. And I probably would have swapped the order around since the Santoros has really good technique. While Sorophagnax's technique is mediocre. But anyway, Sand Trap, Earth Barrier and Crystal Crusher. Uh, heat Eruption, Volk Burst and Firebomb. And then we have the end of the Metro, who was featured in the last two tournaments, which were well, including Ultimates and mine. I think he's in Ultimates, I'm not sure. I'm not sure now, I might be. Anyway, using the ever reliable Uteraptor again, with a moveset of Dino Illusion, Sonic Blast, and Light Recovery. It might be the same moveset as well. But this time he's gone with the Uoplocephalus, the fossil one, with a moveset of Sand Trap, Earth Barrier, and Crystal Crusher. So it's basically the same movement set as this one. And then we have the reigning champion, and probably going to win Ultimate's tournament as well, Liwas97. Using Super Verizinosaurus and Alpha Kentrosaurus. Um, moveset consisting of Claw Blade, Tie Bomb and Light Recovery. And as for the Kentrosaurus, we have Sand Trap, Earth Barrier and Light Recovery again. I <laughs> don't really rate Light Recovery at all. Anyway, we have another debutant, Omega-9. With Papasaurus, a moveset 
very attacking moveset of Tag Team, Papa Rollin and Papa Love Love. Gone for power here. And I don't care if they're playing Primal Carnage, go away. There we have the Carnotaurus, Crisis Type, a Tupu Dive, Sonic Blast and Ninja Attack. Again, another quite attack-minded moveset, in my opinion. And number 10, we have Chainsaw with Super Saiyajania. Boasting a moveset of Quake Saber, Earthquake, and Giga Hammer. So, again, another very attack minded moveset. A lot, a lot of attacking minded movesets this time. And anyway, second dino, we have Spinosaurus with Neptune Stream. Quite a risky move, because it's. It can cause it can be a cause for human error. Alpha Al, Alpha Alpha Dart and Aqua Javelin. And then we have Dino Tanker with our first armor dinosaur of the tournament, and I think he's the only one to enter with an armor dinosaur. And that will be Terry Dino Tactor. Boasting a very attacking moveset of heat eruption, burning dash and flare so actually that's not really that attacking, but the burning dash will do an ass ton of damage. And his second dino is Gonwana Titan, which not a bad entry. Hydro Cutter, Aqua Javelin, and Ocean Panic. And then we have number 12, we have Dino Gasmania. Using Metriacanthosaurus and Rugops. And I'm not going to bomb through all the moves, you can see them for yourself. Just going to shout out the dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, so number 13, we have Sonic the Hedgehog, aka Rafael Lopez. Who's using a Therizinosaurus and an Amargosaurus? Interesting thing is, he's gone for a lot of tie moves and he's got Dino Stuffer and Tie Breaker for both dinos. The only difference being their paper moves. And then at number 14, we have Mohamed Yese, who's using a Brachylophosaurus with that moveset and a Super Titanosaurus with that moveset. And I actually think I need the code for that because I don't have it. And then we have a former participant of Ultimate's tournament, Rex Williamson. And this time he's using a Super T-Rex with an interesting moveset. And Rugops with, again, another good moveset in my opinion. And then let's, let's get on to the more famous one, Ultimate Dino King. Didn't quite happen for him in my last tournament. Don't know how well he's going to do in his own tournament. But I, based on his dinos, I think he's gone the exact same s strategy this time. With his dinos picking an earth and a grass dinosaur. And I think that might even be the same moveset he's using in his tournament. And likewise for Super Matabarasaurus. So I, I think this I think this this could be an underestimated team in the tournament. <coughs> oh oh, sorry, at the cough. Don't worry, it's not you know what. Anyway, we have the Sorofagnax Rex made it to the final of my last tournament. Got knocked out the first round by me in Ultimate Dino King's tournament. And he's using the Black T Rex with Magma Blaster and Excited Spaghetti. And obviously has built in Deathfire, so it doesn't have a scissors move. And obviously, he's using Sorofagonex. At number 18, we have Spitfire, another debutante from Discord. And he's using Parasaurolophus and Edmontonia. See, I think this is a good, this is a good solid team because the Edmontonia has more technique than the Para, so I think that's a good solid team. At number 19, we have another new debutant and the final human entry, June, and he's using Carnotaurus and Amplosaurus. And now we got all the fill-in teams coming up. So I just bomb for these. So we have Team Brontekins because I wanted to see Brontekins in the tournament. So obviously Brontekins with armor. And I'm not going to say that one. And yeah, I tried to make the move sets not too overpowered so they don't. But obviously, it's RNG at the end of the day, so it doesn't really matter. Sorry, <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> got stuck in my throat. <coughs> right. So yeah, we have Team Eocarcarium. Surprised no one entered this. Really surprised. So I entered it Super Eocarcarium and Gorgosaurus. And then we have Team Eoraptor with obviously Eoraptor and Shedzhuangashorosh, the revival type. And then just like in Ultimate's tournament, I added the mean team. But this time Edmontonia is Super Edmontonia. 
and we have this Synteosaurus, which is normal. And we have an Alpha team, consisting of Alpha Chasmosaurus and Alpha Rajasaurus. And then we have some Continental teams, which I came up with. So we have Team Africa, with Joboria and Super Majungasaurus. Team South America, with Super Carnotaurus and Giganonosaurus. Team Europe, which has Megalosaurus and Camptosaurus. Team Asia, which has Cychania Dinotecta with Synraptor. Uh, Team North America, which has Allosaurus Atrox and Super Carifosaurus. And then, because I love the game so much, I decided to add in a Primal Carnage team, which consists of Cryolithosaurus and Acrocamphosaurus, two of my favourite dinosaurs from the game. And then we have the Team Space Pirates with Armatus with Spectral Armour and the non-armour version of Gygus. And then we have, as our last entry, the Team Revivals. So we have the Fossil Deinonychus and the Fossil Triceratops. And that is all our entries. So quite a good batch this time, I might say. Now let's get to the hard bit. Grouping them all up. So as you can see here, four groups of eight. You play each player once. The top four will advance to the last 16. The bottom four will be eliminated. And I will update these tables every, every, with every match that's played. So you always know where your position is. And, uh, where is it? Where, oh, it's on here. And these will be all the rounds for each group. So as you can see, they're all the same. So you'll pretty much know who you're playing first and who you're playing last and stuff like that. So you can keep track. So just scroll it down slowly if you, were, if you want to write it down. There. So yeah, I randomly generated these fixtures. Right, let's get to the fun bit, the group stage. As you can see, I've grouped the bot entries and the human entry, well, separated them. And here's how it's going to work. I will pick a number at random with a rand RNG. So hang on, give me a sec. So 1 to 19, this will be the human's RNG. And this will be the bot's RNG. Is it 13? Yeah, 13. Oh, and already I need to change up to 2. And you might have noticed that my name is already in pool A. Well, that's because I'm the host, which means I'm, which means, as in tournaments in real life, like the World Cup, the host team will always be in the first group, and I will also play the first match. So I'm going to go from Group B, Group C, Group D, and then Group A, B, C, D, in that order. And I will go Human, and then Bot, and then Human, and then Bot, and until I run out of Bots, and then it'll be Human, 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 Human. Okay? Okay, I'm a complete ass, and I realized I put all the bots in one group and all the humans in another. Because I didn't... Uh, right, we're going to start again. This time, I'm going to draw one human, a human to go into group B, and then a bot to go into group B, and then I'll do a human and a bot for group C, human and a bot for group D, and then human and bot for group A. Right, that's how I'll do it. <laughs> I screwed that up, sorry about that. But I'll edit it out so it don't matter, so. Right. So we'll start with a human for group B. So we've got number 19. Number 19 is June. So June will go into group B. And now for a bot to keep him company. Number 12. What is number 12? Ooh, the Space Pirates group. So the Space Pirates will go into Group B. Now for Group C. The human in Group C will be number 6. Ooh, that's Melonic Shenanigans. We'll go into Group C. Oh, damn it. Why do you have to have such a long name? <laughs> anyway. And now we need to pick a bot to go into Group C. That's number 9. Number 9 is Team Asia. Interesting. Uh, paste. Oh, um, hang on. Let's update it. So I'll just put a slash. Oh. Just put a slash next to all the ones so I make sure. I think that's. Yeah. There. Just so, I, just so I can keep track. Right, now for someone in my group, Group A. Number 15. What's number 15? 
Ooh, interesting. That could be an interesting one. Oh no, Group D, sorry, my bad. Oh, I'm all over the place today. So yeah, we have Rex Williams Sim in Group D. And we need a bot to join him. And that is number four. So the main team will be going into Group D. Okay, now, now we'll do my group. <laughs> right. So the human to go into group A is number six. Oh, no, we've got number six. Number 14. Ooh, interesting. We have Mohamed Yasser going into group A. And now I need a bot to join me. Who will I play? Number six. We've had number six, I think. Yeah, that's Team Africa. Number three. Ooh, Team Eoraptor. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right, now for Group B. Okay, we need a human for Group B now. So, number ten. Ooh, Chainsaw. So Chainsaw will be going into Group B. Oh, <laughs> I, mean, I can you imagine if there's a group of death in this in this tournament? There's always one, isn't there? Number 12 for the bot. That is Team Space Pirates. Going into Group B. Wait, what? Oh, we, wait, what? Oh, we've had space pirates, have we? Hang on. <laughs> I'm lost again. One, two, three, four. Oh, we shouldn't have. Africa, Asia, Sp Africa, Asia, meme, Europe. Oh, Team Africa should be in Group B then. Okay, yeah, Team Africa needs to go in Group B. That was my mistake. I I can't be in base space pirates instead. Right, anyway. Now for group C. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. First human entry. Number nine. Ooh, Omega 9. <laughs> and, and number nine for Omega 9. Uh, paste that by here. Now for the human entry, no, the bot entry, number seven. That's Team South America. Quite an interesting group so far. I mean, all these groups are going to be competitive. That's how this tournament's going to be. Right, now for group D, number eight. Ooh, we don't want to be, no one wants to be in group D, because the champion's in group D. Ooh, this could be the group of death. Group D could be the group of death. You got the reigning champion in it. <laughs> oh, thank God, he's not in my group. Number two. And Joy. Oh, ooh, Team Eo Kakiri is in the group as well. Oh my God, like, I can see Group D being a group of death already. <laughs> oh, I'd be ama I'll be amazed if Laos goes undefeated in my tournament. Right now for my group, Group A, number eleven. Ooh, Dino Tanker. It's interesting. Now for a bot to join us, number three. Oh, we've had number three. Number four. I think we've had number four as well. Yep. Yeah. Number three, number eight, number eight. We haven't had number eight. That's Team Europe. That's Team Europe, which will be going into Group A. Right now for Group B. Uh, number three. What's number three? Oh, it's Toro. Group B looks a favourable group. Looks a good group. 
uh, me for the bot. Number eight again, that's Team Europe. Um, number seven. And number seven, we've had number seven. Number four, we've had number four. Number five, we had number five. Ooh, that's the Alpha Team. Uh, copy and paste. Quite a competitive group here. we got a good group coming. Right now for group C. Number 8. I think we've had number 8. Yeah, that's the champ. Number 17. Oh, so Faganax Rex joins group C. Ooh, that might be a favourable group for him. Right, now for the bot. Number seven. Have we had number seven? We've had number seven. Number five, we've had number five. Oh, number two. I don't think we've had number two. Yes, we have. Uh, number seven. Number four. Uh, okay, hang on. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to change it to one to four. Number three. One, two, three. Oh, ooh, the Primal Carnage team is going into group C. To cause carnage. Okay, now for group D. The group of death. Number 11. Okay, we've had number 11. Number 15. We've had number 15. Number 14. We've had number 14. Number 17. We've had, we've had number 17. Oh, come on. Number 8. We've had number 8. Number 13. Okay, Rafael Lopez goes into Group D. And, as for the bot... One, two, three, change it to three. And we have number three. So, one, two, three. Oh, so Team Revivals goes in, joins Group D. Oh, quite some good groups. Okay, now we need Group A now. And obviously there's only three. Yeah, I've, made, I've done it right. Again, hang on, have I miscounted again? Right, anyway, for the humans, number 17, I think we've had that. Number 12, I don't think we've had 12. Nope. That's Dino Gasmania. Joins Group A. And as for the bot that joins it, uh -oh. well, it'll either be one or the other. So two. So that's Team North America, which means Team Brontekins will automatically join Group B. Join Brontekins to automatically join Group B. There it goes by here. So we just need a human now to complete Group B. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need six. So I'll change this to one till six. Number one. That is Monolof OG. My first entry, and he will go into and he will complete Group B. No, that's quite an interesting group. That's a favourable group, and a lot of big names have yet to be filled. So, Group C's and D's could be some big hitters in there. Well, there already are. Right now, we need number four. Actually, change out the five now. Number three for Group C. So that's one, two... Oh, that's Ender the Metro. He goes into Group C. <laughs> Sorry for all the clicking. Right, number four. Right. Now for Group D. Number three again. So one, two... Oh... Oh, poor ultimate Dino King. He's in Group D. Oh, he's in the group of death. Well, you might as well kiss his tournament goodbye. 
Look at that. Look at that for a group. That's a group of death. He's going to have to face Rex Williamson and Laos97. Of course, it is the top four that advances, so he still has a favourable chance to get out, but still. Whew, a brutal matchup. Brutal matchups for the poor guy. Right, now we need to complete the groups now. So we have Tor, Nopi, and Spitfire the group. So going into group A, we have number one, and that is Tor. So he so they will be joining my group, and that completes group A. Okay, now we need the last one for group C and D. So we got one, two. So yep, yeah, number two, and I'm gonna get rid of RNG. So Nopi will be going into group D, and Spitfire will be going into group C. Nope. And that is the group stage draw complete. And looking at our group, oh, take your pick, guys. Which groups do you think is the favourable ones? Which matchups are you looking forward to the most? I gotta say, Group D has to be the group of death. You got Ultimate Dino King. You got the champion. You got you got Rex Williams Sim as well. And you got Team Eel Cockeria, which is pretty strong. You got the Revival Team. You got Nopi. Quite a tough group, Group D. As for Group C, you know, so Fakanax Rex, obviously the big favourite to get out of that group. But you have Ender Demetra in there. Don't discount the bot teams. You got some new debutants. Group B, probably the favourite group. Probably the more comfortable group for these guys. But I'd have to say, the most open group of the pool is Group B. I can't really call it, to be honest. And then you have Group A with myself. And I don't mean to toot my own horn, myself and Tor. Probably favourites to get out of that group, but other than that, the other two spaces are open. Got some very good groups this time, but Group D, man. You could easily say, Rex, Laos, Open the Dino King, top three. The others will be fighting for fourth. And it will you can predict future matchups as well, so the way I'm gonna do it for the last 16 is that the winner of this group will face fourth place in this group. Fourth place in this group will face the winner of this group, and then second in this group will play third of this group, and vice versa. And then it'll be the same for these two as well. So everyone on in group A and B will be on one side of the, the one side of the draw while these lot will be on the other side and I gotta say well we're gonna see a Laust Ultimate Dino King matchup straight away. I mean let's look at the fixed let's actually look at the fixture. When do they play each other? Oh yeah these these will be on numbers for the if you if you wanted to know when you were playing who so for example number one would be myself. So let's have a look. Laos would be number three and ultimate would be number seven. So three versus seven. Oh, it'll be round three. Three versus seven. Quite look forward to that one. And well it'll be my first match, which will be up soon, hopefully. One versus six. So I'd be facing Dino Gasmania in the very first match of the tournament. Some interesting groups. I mean, it's going to be tough to call. Like, who do you think is going to get out of the groups? Who do you think is going to be eliminated? Will there be any upsets? I mean, I think bonus points could come into it. I really do. So I hope you enjoyed this little stint. As for when I plan to upload this to start my tournament, it sh hopefully it'll be soon. But I hope you enjoyed, and this is Strange Gamer, signing out.